Welcome back. In this presentation, I will focus on earned value management. One of my colleagues, he asked me as to how I could explain earned value management in simple and lucid terms. He wanted to understand what is planned value, what is earned value, what is actual cost, budgeted completion. So in this presentation, I will explain all these terms and make it as simple as possible. And uh, I guarantee that at the end of it, you would have understood it in the simplest possible terms. So let's get back to earned value management. Let us consider a project that is going to take 10 months to complete. The total budget that we have for this project is $10 million. And let us simplify things by saying that every month I am going to expend $1 million and every month I complete 10% of the total project. So let me just write it down. The project has a span of 10 months. <coughs> Budget is 10 million. We are going to simplify things by assuming that every month I complete 10% of the total work. And this is budgeted for $1 million. Let us fast forward two months later. Two months later, this is what I expect. I should have completed 20% of the total work. So expected completion is 20% and if I was able to stick to my budget, I should have spent $2 million. But in reality, this is not true. What happens is after two months, I discover that Instead of completing 20% of the work, I only completed 10% of the work. And instead of spending 2 million, I have actually spent 3 million dollars. So just looking at this, I know that uh, I was supposed to be at 20% completion of the work whereas I am at 10% only and I should have spent only 2 million dollars to complete that 20% whereas I have spent 3 million to complete just 10%. This brings us to the first term that we will define and that is called planned value. So we know that planned value was 20% of the total project. So it would be total project was worth 10 million dollars. So 20% of 10 million of 10 million dollars is 2 million. And what we have actually achieved is only 10% completion. So the earned value is 10% of 10 million that is 1 million. So 
we have a planned value and we have a earned value. Actual cost. The actual cost in this case is $3 million. <coughs> the first metrics, the first major in earned value management is scheduled variance. And scheduled variance is defined as earned value minus planned value. Why do we define it like that? It's because I was supposed to accomplish two million dollars and I have accomplished only one million dollars. Thus, my scheduled variance is negative 1 million. Cost variance. Earned value minus actual cost. What is my earned value? 1 million. What is my cost? 3 million. So my cost variance is minus two million dollars. The minus sign implies I am lagging behind. With these two terms, the next two terms that we have is scheduled performance index and cost performance index. The scheduled performance index is defined as earned value upon planned value and this is defined as earned value upon actual costs. In this case my scheduled performance index will be 1 by 2 and that is 0.5 million. And my cost performance index will be 1 by 3 and that is 0.33. Looking at this and this indexes, if these numbers were 1, it means I was on schedule and I was in budget. If these values were more than 1, it means I was ahead of the schedule. And if this value was more than 1, it means that I have achieved more by spending less but in our case both are less than one and it means that I was supposed to have accomplished this in that time period whereas in that same time period I have accomplished less than that. Cost variance for that time period I was supposed to have spent this much amount however I have spent this much amount. So we have Scheduled Performance Index, Cost Performance Index. So now I know that uh, in this project, I my total budget was $10 million. And two months down the lane, I have already expended $3 million. So if I assume that whatever I have done in the past two months, is the way the project is going to roll into the future for the balance eight months. What is the budget? So my initial budget at completion was 10 million dollars. But with these new figures, there would be a change in this budget and it would be an expected budget at completion and what would this be? A very simple way of looking at it is that in two months